Yeah, that didn't go so well. I can't believe I have to make two videos about this in one week, but things went worse than I thought for Stack Overflow. So if you don't know what happened earlier this week, Stack Overflow announced that they're gonna be partners with OpenAI to basically provide the answers that users have been contributing to the site for many, many years out of their own free will to share with the community for good or for bad. We have different kinds of personalities on Stack Overflow, but it doesn't matter. The point is that Stack Overflow didn't ask any permission. They just went, okay, OpenAI, you wanna train on our data? Fine, go ahead and use our data. There was probably a little more to it than that. I'm guessing there was some back handed deals made, maybe, I don't know. But users did not appreciate this. Oh no, apparently they started pulling their answers and rebelling and Stack Overflow in their infinite wisdom started banning these users en masse for rebelling against OpenAI partnership. This is Tom's hardware article. Users were banned for deleting answers to prevent them from being used to train ChatGPT. But let me remind you that Stack Overflow also banned the use of ChatGPT to be used on their site. So they want nice clean data from these users. They're not paying and they're not subsidizing at all. And they wanna provide that now to open AI and who gets screwed? Well, you, you and me, we, we get screwed. I, I posted a few things on there, sure. Found this funny tweet this morning. This is supposedly what's gonna happen with ChatGPT. It's just a joke, but still. How do you get the string out of IO? ChatGPT says closed as duplicate. Get it, it was trained on Stack Overflow. Eh, you get it. What do you think? Should Stack Overflow do something like this to their users? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, here's what ChatGPT thinks about it. Tell me again about your conclusions about whether this is ethical or not. Ethically, it's crucial that users are aware of and consent to how their contributions are used. Uh, Platforms should provide clear information about the use of user-generated data and offer options for users to opt out if they prefer their content not be used for such purposes. Uh, there's an argument to be made about the overall benefits such usage brings, uh, such as improving AI technologies that can contribute significantly to public knowledge and technical support. However, this must be balanced against the risk of misuse of user data or using it in ways that the users have not explicitly agreed to. Uh -huh. In conclusion, while the use of Stack Overflow Flow data by OpenAI could enhance AI model training and provide substantial benefits, it must be handled with strict adherence to ethical standards concerning user consent, transparency, and data protection to be considered truly ethical. Yeah. Thanks, ChatGPT. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further clarification on anything else, feel free to ask. I always feel like I have to let him finish. I don't know. It's rude to interrupt. ChatGPT has more morals than Stack Overflow. What's up with that? So this tier that I shed for Stack Overflow on Monday, I will shed one tier for Stack Overflow. Since this is so fresh, let's see what you folks shared on the comments on that video. First comment, the actual point is that Stack is the community. If the community leaves, Stack will die a slow death. Yeah, it'll be a slow death. We're already seeing signs of this happening. There's a lot of frustration here. I searched for a question about Unix extended regular expression. It was Marcus Duplicate. Then I read the original question and find it was about a Perl answer. Stack Overflow is also known as Duplicate Question. Stack Overflow, that's so Intel Mac. I'll be back to regularly scheduled programming soon. Tomorrow is a new video. At least ChatGPT isn't condescending when somebody asks basic questions. Yes, and I just made a short about this recently saying that there's cognitive intelligence and there's emotional intelligence. There's plenty of very smart people on Stack Overflow that have great cognitive intelligence. As far as emotional intelligence, that's a whole different story. And ChatGPT, while it doesn't have emotions, it can simulate uh, somebody with really good or high emotional intelligence. Ram says, if you ask a question, it must be the question. Otherwise, a bunch of know-it-all come to tell you that you should not ask questions. <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me too. And I have a lot of experience. What about noobs? The, the new generation of people that are gonna come in, they're not gonna go to Stack Overflow. They're gonna try and they're gonna get frustrated because they're gonna be told to go somewhere else. And they're gonna go to ChatGPT or things like it. And guess what? They're gonna grow up with using those tools instead of having to post the question, being uh, anxious about whether it's gonna get voted down or answered at all, waiting for days for an answer that could be wrong or unrelated. Who needs that? Like I said before, Stack Overflow served its purpose, but it's done. It's time to move on. And this comment right here brings that point home. Stack Overflow has been invaluable for years. Unfortunately, its time has come and will go the way of CDs and cassette tapes. Hey, I still have cassettes and CDs, but I take the point. 
but it will always have a place in my heart for all the times it helped solve crazy hard issues I had to go overcome. Still love you, Stack Overflow. Yes, Stack Overflow has been great. We can't underestimate the contribution Stack Overflow has had over the years. It's, it's a tough situation for them. They know they're dying. They know they're going away. But doing something like this without user consent is just bad. It's just a shitty thing to do to their users that have been contributing for many years. This may or may not be the last video on Stack Overflow if you missed the last one right over here. And if you wanna see my real experience with Stack Overflow, this video right here, and I will see you in the next video.